Uh, hello everyone, I'm Stas and this is my new tutorial about Connect Point Cloud. I have this uh, quite old video on my YouTube channel called Dancing in a Point Cloud. And a lot of people asking me to share a TOR file or to make a tutorial. And when yesterday I received another ask for this, I decided to do a tutorial. The technique itself is very simple, so maybe I'll push it a little bit further than here. Okay, let's start. I'm using a uh, Touch Designer experimental version, the last one. Uh, in a stable version there is a little difference, uh, but I'll back to it in a minute or so. So let's go, let's open a palette, palette uh, and over techniques folder there is a connect point cloud, put it here, close it, go inside um, and uh, we need to open our connect. I'm using the version 2 and I believe it's work only with version 2 and you need to choose uh, either color point cloud or depth point cloud I prefer this one it's uh, okay let's work and connect it with the uh, first input Okay, we don't need this and we don't need this and uh, on instance 2 page we don't need any color because it's for multiplying the point clouds with a color image uh, comes from Kinect color camera. So here in the experimental version <coughs> it uses the top instances and the line, new line material. Um, here on the point, uh, full, uh, point page, you can choose a point near color, something like orange, and point far color, something, I don't know. Yeah, like this. And here we can uh, define what is near and what is far. And probably far, it's in my case something like, um, I don't know, this. And near, yeah, like this. And now I show you a difference in a, a stable build. Okay, here is the latest stable build. And again, in the palette, in the techniques, uh, if you use, if you choose a Kinect Point Cloud and go inside, it's a little bit different because it uses um, it uses jelly cell material. Uh, probably it wouldn't work because I have Kinect here as well. Uh, okay, let me turn it off and turn it on here. <coughs> yeah, now it's working. So if you use a stable version, what you're gonna do is uh, turn on connect, uh, use a constant with the same uh, resolution and put it instead of this Kinect 3, just plug it here and use some color as well. So the main difference in the end you got is that here with a uh, not a new experimental version, you will have only one color. Uh, so if you can use experimental and I will use this in uh, later on. Okay, let me close. So we back in experimental, 
turn on connect again is it uh, oh okay yeah now it's working and here I am here I am I can adjust the uh, size and the resolution but I would also like to have some other options here but first let's just reproduce what I got there on the video let's just uh, use the feedback feedback next we want a blur we want a level level and we also need uh, I think it's over top but uh, I will use a composite here composite plug it in I choose over I suppose and uh, move it into feedback top okay now we need to level opacity down to i don't know something like yeah it works mm -hmm -hmm. maybe a bit less blurry how is it um let, let me try this maybe screen i don't uh okay probably over is better oh okay i have oh okay let's make a viewer active and move camera a bit closer so we have a sharper image do we have a sharper image here as well not so much so let's just add a threshold here uh, find a good value to separate me from everything else and add another composite and to make an uh, image more sharp and let's use i don't know add maybe not add maybe uh, maximum mm, okay this is not very good yet but we will wor work something more something more Boom 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 Okay Let's uh, go inside Let's go here and uh, choose a little bit darker color here a bit darker here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like this. And to make it a bit simpler, let's switch to, let's split the screen. And here, choose a customized component and i want to have here as well a distance near and a distance far so i choose the float and this near at parameter and the maximum would be something like i don't know five and let's add a distance far as well parameter and the uh, range maybe 20 and also I will add a color as well so let's add uh, color color RGBA and co 
similar near add parameter and uh, color far add parameter okay now if we go here we have the new parameters press the right mouse button choose copy parameter it's a distance near and choose the past bind and set it to so now if I move here it moves on this uh, line mat as well and let's do the same with distance far copy parameter past bind do, 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 do. and the same for colors let's choose orange let's choose uh, blue copy parameters best bind copy parameter best bind if you want you can also copy and paste alpha channel but i wouldn't do this and close this screen so now we have everything we need just here and let's find a better better values mm -hmm. all right maybe it's maybe okay where is my far color i can't see it so something is wrong something is wrong specify uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, good. Good. So, uh, now we have uh, two colors, and that's what I want to have here. Uh, let's add something interesting in a feedback loop as well. Let's add, for example, HSV adjust and uh, set a hue offset to let's say two and let's find uh, now we have a little rainbow effect maybe it would be better if i don't know no no it's too much uh, reflect oh So you can just mm, uh, choose the different parameters and find something that you like. Oh, okay. I like this one. Yeah. This one, good enough for me. Let me see what I have here. Maybe I don't want the far color here. So if I made it a bit darker, a bit darker and a bit bluish, I almost... And let's uh, have a red channel, only a red channel here. Okay. Do do do, do 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 do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, interesting interesting feeling effect and you can also play with uh, this uh, second composite as well maybe use Additive color. Is 
it's also good to switch from alpha to just RGB to see what you have in the end for example if you record okay let me try to uh, so as you can see this uh, very much depends on where I am so depending on your stage setup you can move uh, distance and far values a little bit closer or a little bit farther away maybe change color but overall i think that's it it was a very short tutorial with a simple technique but i hope you find something useful for you as well okay thank you Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. <laughs>